Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to title the video, so you may actually already know what this video is about. But assuming that I don't title it, um, we have a very uh, nice, well, I guess you can't say it's an unboxing since I already took it out. But yeah, I got some arcade items. Uh, these are items that are extremely hard to come by. I can't say that a lot of people are looking for these items, but rarely do they come up. Uh, and when they do, if if you haven't replied or tried to buy within a couple minutes, you stand pretty much no chance of getting these unless you're willing to pay an obscene amount of money. Now I got the box right here. You can see it's a pretty, it's pretty, you know, big box. Uh, let's see. There we go. 28 and 3 eighths by 15 and a half by 9 and 1 eighth. But what do we have? What is that? Oh, nothing. Well, so either you already know what we got or get ready to see. What I got, what I paid for, and what finally arrived today is this. Look at that. Original, new, old stock, forgotten world, or excuse me, I shouldn't say new, old stock. It's old stock. Uh, forgotten world items. I have a control panel, the marquee, and the bezel. This stuff is hard, hard, hard to come by. The marquee, you can get a reproduction online. And that's going to probably cost you, with shipping, uh, anywhere between $35 to $45. So the marquee, you know, that's not a problem. The control panel artwork, the control panel itself, and then the artwork, it's very, very difficult to come by. The bezel, I have looked and looked and looked and yeah, I've never seen it. Nobody seems to be making reproductions of it. I don't know why, but yeah, it's impossible. Now, you may be looking at this stuff and saying, wow, it's not old. I mean, look at that. You can see some crinkling and bending. It's not the best shape, but it's better than nothing. Now the marquee itself, this is the type where the picture is already attached to the, the plastic, whatever you want to call this, whatever it is. And again, you can see there's, you know, some, some dirtiness. It's not perfect, but I do intend to build a Forgotten Worlds arcade cabinet. I got the PCB, really surprised I was able to get that. Um, but yeah, I got it, and you've already seen another video where I released just the control panel. I had purchased a control panel, no artwork. It actually had an additional button here and here. That control panel I'm probably going to sell. But yeah, I got this one. And, you know, it's not perfect. It looks like we've got some tape right there. Actually, that's... That's like the plastic covering of the artwork. You know, it's... Looks like we got a little dent right here. Some fraying right here. I'll probably put some... Well, I can't even... Yeah, I can't even put, like, a protective plexi over this because then I have to drill in holes to hold it in. But yeah, it's nice to be able to have this, you know, one with artwork that you just don't see. And this, like I said, I mean, I, I would pay top dollar for a nice reproduction. It's just nobody's reproducing them. I've looked, I've looked, and nobody wants to do it. Nobody seems, I don't know. Now, how did I come across this? Well, let me, uh... 
fix my uh, tripod here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and make this video around 10 minutes. Why? So I can get paid. All right, so um, a seller came up on the KLOV forums and he was like, you know, hey, I got all these items. Uh, I'm not sure what they're worth. Anybody wanna, you know, let me know if they're interested? Unfortunately, I was about 40 minutes late. I contacted them, I, I, I left them, you know, a message, but someone already got to it. <laughs> and that, that's not surprising. Like I said, when Forgotten Worlds items come up, you need to be quick. Um, but I told them the truth of what I thought it was worth, and I told them, you know, if you want to sell it, you know, let me know, I'll make you an offer. And he's like, sorry, it's already been sold. I had a feeling as to who bought it, and I really wasn't surprised. So I contacted this person. He's also on the KLOV forums. And I was like, you know, were you by any chance the one that uh, purchased the Forgotten Worlds items? Um, if so, great. And if by any chance you're looking to sell it, please let me know. Now, I don't know if these, in fact, I don't think these specific items were for sale. Maybe the marquee. Uh, the, the ad had a really nice, almost looked brand new bezel. And it had a control panel with joysticks and spinners. And I'll get to the spinners in a moment. But anyways, this person bought it. And I don't know if he's hoarding Forgotten Worlds items or he's planning on building a cabinet himself. But he basically sent me pictures and he says he's got a bunch of stuff. And I'm assuming he just, you know, got the items that were of the best condition for himself. Why wouldn't he? And then he, you know, said he has these items for sale. Um, he asked me to make him an offer. I made him an offer. He countered with another offer. And I said, okay, deal. Um, how much did I pay? I paid a lot. I paid a lot. Uh, let's put it this way. I paid more than 200 and under 500 so, yeah, the, the stuff is just nowhere to be found. If you're lucky enough, you might find a complete uh, cabinet. But that's probably going to run you at least two grand, possibly near three grand. The PCB, if you're lucky, you can get it in the $800 range. Uh, most people are trying and getting the PCB for 1200 you know, around there. And it's just you got to... Find it at the right time. Uh, the joysticks, I don't really care about right now. The reason being is it has to do with the spinners. Now, here's the deal. The spinners are completely outrageous. Um, you know, a year ago, two years ago, you could expect to get a set of working spinners for Forgotten Worlds. You can expect to pay maybe 300 and that was considered high, but, you know, people paid it. On eBay, not too long ago, at least at the, the time this video is being recorded, a set of spinners non-working, or excuse me, non-tested, which on eBay usually means non-working, um, oops, those spinners went for over $1,000. dollars i could not believe it. I, I was just... It's like, wow. Uh, I think I bid, I may have bid around five or six hundred, thinking, okay, there's no way I'm going to lose these. You know, auction ends and the, the, the price jumped to over a thousand dollars. I was just dumbfounded. I was like, wow. So, how does that relate to me not caring about the joysticks? Well, Unfortunately, there's no reproduction spinners available. Nobody makes those either. The main spinners don't work. Uh, computer spinners don't work. The only alternative is to get, uh, I think it's Arkanoid spinners. And you can hook those up and they will work. But the difference between regular spinners and Forgotten World spinners is, in addition to spinning, 
You also push the spinner down and it acts as a fire button. Obviously, the Arkanoid um, spinners don't do that. But what you can do and what most people are doing because they just can't afford or find dedicated spinners is they're getting um, special joysticks which have a button attached to them. And the joystick will act as directional and firing. So, you know, you'll, you'll be holding the joystick like this for the uh, top fire button. And the Arkanoid spinners you can spin. So you'll be doing something like this. It's not the best setup. I don't like that setup, but really, it's the only thing that's available. Um, if you're watching this video and you have Forgotten World items for sale, let me know. If you have a PCB for sale, let me know. If you have any artwork, let me know. If you have spinners, I am willing to buy them. Let me know your price. Uh, I may not buy them if you're asking outrageous prices, but... You know, just let me know. I might be desperate at that time. So, there you are. Yep. Slowly getting my cabinet ready. <sighs> it's a long process, but oh well. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>